Before we begin, you'll want to know that it's better to use wax temp, which is this. It's a little bit of a darker shade than this. This is not waxed, and this one is. The wax temp will stick to the um, uh, inside of the chanter better than this. This will still work, but this will last longer. There are grooves on this chanter which the hemp will go into. So I'm going to show you where I place the hemp on the chanter. I take my thumb and put it on the edge there where the hemp is going. Let's see there. And if a little bit goes over the edge, it's not the end of the world. You want to try to get it um, like this and then using the grooves, you're going to start to roll the hemp around the chanter so that it goes into all of those little grooves. And if you miss one or two grooves, um, you can backtrack and uh, get the hemp into those grooves properly. And this is not going to be perfection. It's very hard to get them into every single one of them without uh, the hemp slipping. So it does take practice. So if you don't get on the first try, don't beat yourself up. So now that the hemp is basically um, being uh, secured by the other hemp that's already going into the grooves, I'm going to keep going all the way around and it's looking pretty good, honestly. Like I say, if I move, if I miss one or two, I'll just go backwards and um, that's, I think that's the ending of uh, the last uh, groove there. So I don't go all the way across because what I found in the past is that if you go all the way down and uh, one of the, uh, a piece of the hem falls down out and then it's uh, not uh, going into the groove, then it can bunch up at the end here. And then that way, um, when that happens, the, ch the other chanter half is not going to go flush against here. So in order to prevent that, I don't actually put it in the last um, uh, groove. I start to go backwards from there. That will allow any loose uh, hemp to um, go into the, the ending groove instead of onto the other part of the chanter where it's going to possibly um, prevent the chanter, the two chanter halves from being flushed together. I'll repeat this process a few times and uh, just enough to get the little black bits in there that you can see those. There's a, a big one um, right there where my fingernail is. So I'm going to cover, I'm going to do my best to cover that up and I'll do that across the entire chanter and uh, cover those up properly. And then that'll probably take two or three passes, I, I, I think. So there's a few little um, gaps of chanter in there. So I'm going to do my best to get all of them. To help with the, to help press the hemp into the grooves more, you can use a hard surface like a table to press, to roll the, the hemp across um, the surface. And that will help to push the hemp into the grooves and into um, the little bits of uh, space here. And that's going to help to um, create more of a uh, snugger fit. Now, when you are done with um, uh, hemping the part of the chanter, you can take this, you can take the spool of, of hemp and you can make a circle with it, put the ball of uh, the roll of hemp through that to make like a lasso, so just like that. And then you're going to have this. And then what you can do is move that over top of the hemp like this, hold it in place with your finger, pull the other uh, end of the hemp with your finger, with uh, your hand, and then move it back and forth a little bit so that you get that bit that you get that knot right there and then press it and then move it over top of your um, hard surface again. So it's just like that. And that's going to keep that um, hemp from moving. And that is the hemp job that you have. Like, look at that. It's actually not bad, eh? It's not bad at all. So I'm going to put the um, top of my chanter over top and that's not a bad fit at all. I hope that this was helpful for you. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to the channel and giving the video a like. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.